alcohol content. We are here drinking some booze. You're watching us drink booze. It's a happy day, okay? Today, we got some some fancy barrel string stuff. We got some Elijah Craig Larceny uh, Heaven Hill Distillery, okay? H.H. Pretty great. Well, we're going to taste what these new batches are. But first, before we do that, let's introduce who you're drinking with. We got Ryan. Dripping. Oh, he's dripping with that striped shirt yeah. from the like 1960s there. Yeah, oh, that is. is like... Hey, these colors don't bleed. <laughs> <laughs> and we got Rick. Yeah, right here. With that aged brown jacket. It's Scottish tweed. <laughs> oh, okay. We're not drinking scotch today. No, we're not. We got we're, some bourbon. We have some American Tweedle D and Tweedle Dum. <laughs> yeah. Tweedle D and Tweedle Dum. <laughs> and then, um, you, then I'm Austin. I'm interrupting him. Sorry. Yeah. It's me, Austin. I'm really important. And now, what are we drinking? We got the Larceny. We got the Elijah Craig. They're both barrel proof. Now, I think these are some of the newer batches, I believe. These are the newest of batches. A one twenty three Chafe Guevara. <laughs> okay, <laughs> <look> so like <laughs> we're a little bit behind. A little, you know, maybe these came out a month a ago. A month ago. A month ago. Yeah. But uh, I'm excited to try these. The barrel proofs of both of these are always fantastic. So yep. And you mentioned it. They're both Heaven Hill. These. So they're they're the January batch. A one twenty three. We have not, n- none of us have tasted either of these at this point in time. We are starting with the pour of a larceny first, um, and it's actually 0.2% higher proof Ooh. than the Elijah Craig, but it is, it's aged from six to eight years, where the Elijah Craig's 12 years, so hence that's why we're oh, starting okay. with the larceny. The other thing, important fact to note is that larceny is a weeded bourbon, so it's corn, And then wheat is the next highest in the mash bill with a little malted barley, whereas whereas rye is going to be the secondary grain in the Elijah Craig. They don't use any rye in the Larceny, don't they? I don't know. No, no, they. uh, No, I think it's wheat. It's it's corn, wheat, wheat. and malted barley. Okay. Okay. In fact, I believe it is sixty eight percent corn, twenty percent wheat, and twelve percent malted barley for the Larceny. So a lot of malted barley. Yeah. yeah, yeah, it actually is twelve percent malted barley. Easier to ferment. Six to eight years, and the proof of the Larceny You've been A learning. one two three <laughs> is one hundred twenty five point eight. So it's one hundred twenty five point eight. Boys, it smells like it. it yeah, you like get it. the proof for sure. I smell the wheat more than anything. Do you really? Yeah. Yeah, more than any sweetness, I smell wheat. Almost like wheat toast in the morning or something. Yeah. Yeah, I kind of like that. Yeah, it's a good call. Like, Larceny has a little bit of funk. This there, isn't this isn't screaming funk, but it's definitely there. Like, earthy. Yeah, there's weedy, something there. Yeah, but it's proofy. Oh, he drank it. Oh Ryan yeah, went, went right in for it. That tastes like wheat. <laughs> <laughs> wow, wow, wow! What? It's whoa intense. Oh my, sweet lordy, Lord forgive me. Oh, yeah, thank you. <laughs> I need to do some Hail Marys. God bless you in the name of the Father, Son, yeah, and the Holy Ghost. <laughs> Exercise me. <laughs> wow. <laughs> the, the, the holy water. Ryan, for those just that listening, Ryan holy just water blessed me with holy not water just to for exercise. <laughs> He, he it's baptized not used me for exorcism, just exorcism. I was baptized no, like a why, young I wasn't babe. exercising. Yeah, him. okay. I was All just right. splashing him with some <laughs> holiness. Yeah, baptize me. Wow, that is that is sort of punchy for yeah. That's super punchy. I'm gonna have to to recalibrate after that one. I am gonna recalibrate. Got my sensors right all now. whacked out. I've been I'm bamboozled. Yeah, my palate is bamboozled. Now, I recently had I don't remember the batch, but I recently had a larceny barrel proof. It was not this punchy. This... I had one when I came home from work. I not not a one twenty three. I think it was probably B of twenty two or something. And it, yeah, this is hitting me as yeah. a little punchy. There's a there's a kind of a there's a cherry. There's a strong cherry note, and then like a little hint of bubble gum to it, or like a cherry chewy candy of some sort. Yeah. And then just like, just pushed aside by the proof. It's proofy. Yeah, for the sure. It's coming through, but it's young or youngish for something. Six to eight. You yeah. know, we, it's weird that people do young weeded stuff. Like to me, I always feel like if you're going to do something weeded, you should 
age it longer because then the wheat mellows out more and yeah. becomes more of the flavor. The wheat and, drops off, yeah. And young wheat whiskeys tend to have a weird burn to them, like your Maker's Marks and and some and stuff like that. And it's got some of that wheat burn with the proof, but it has some fun, fun, fun overtones. Yeah. Um, this is this is something that that it's expected. I mean, larceny barrel proof. It is usually a little strange, strange in a good way. It's unique, but man, this one just packs a punch. It's coming at you, and it, it does. Yeah. Um, or I, so I don't I'm know get, how to. I'm getting. I, I tasted the cherry. I'm getting a little citrus, a little orange, orange oil in there. I get a on this on the nose now. I get a hint of seaweed. <laughs> seaweed, really interesting. So, I think this is all about this is the long con. The up front, it's almost like it pauses and kind of burn like all the proof and everything. It just sits there, and you have to experience the burn for a little while, and then. It slowly dissipates, and you're supposed to experience the long finish. There is a long finish. That's what this is about, is is the finish. The long finish. It's definitely got a Kentucky hug. Because right away, it's just like, here's everything, ah, spice, proof, everything. And then it's like, you get the cherry notes, you get some fruit notes, and then it's like, all right, I'm going to last forever. Yeah. It's nice. Generally, the wheat is gentler. You know, certainly than with a rye mash bill or whatever. And this, I'm not saying this tastes like a rye mash bill, but it's not as gentle as wheat no. normally is. It's a little spicy. Oh, yeah, it's it's yep. it's it's slapping yeah. you a little bit. Yeah, that's which, interesting. Where does that spice come from? Which, it's got to be the wood, right? So, you know, how charred is the wood? Yeah. I don't know what the char is on it. And... I would assume that they probably char the shit out of this wood for six years only. Yeah, but... Six to eight years, yeah. But also, I mean, six to eight years is a decent amount of time for bourbon. So, But how intense this is, though? Yeah. But it's not super smoky. No, no. but I find it spicy and wood forward. Yeah, but that doesn't necessarily mean more char. There's a lot of barrel influence, but... Usually with more char, it's more smoke. Whereas I yeah. get more of the the like you said, like the grain spice. Okay. And the like grain of the wood spice. Yeah. yeah. I would almost say they char it less. Okay. Because you get less mellowed out flavors and less uh kind of caramely. It's more like a raw wood influence. Okay. Well, that's why you guys are here. And that's why I'm no, here. I, well, I, and I'm guessing, but uh, but I, like that's what makes sense to me because you're right. The barrel influence is strong, yeah. and it almost is just more of the wood and not like a, a smoothing over of the like a charred, yeah, like a super charred. I'm getting, thing. I'm getting. So it definitely it sort of throws you for a loop because it's definitely punchier than other larceny barrel, you know, barrel proofs that I've had, but. Once it settles down a little bit, and I've had a little bit more, I'm getting there's definitely wood on there for sure, and it's definitely still punchy, but I get a little bit of the chocolate covered like orange that orange sort of marmalade type stuff. And orange is definitely correct. It, I drink a lot of orange juice. That that's my confession. I drink a lot of orange juice. Okay, the finish of orange juice. This this certainly has some orange notes to it, and. It's very enjoyable. And, and marmalade is almost the way to go because it is kind of sweet. Mm-hmm. It's like a little bit of a jam, orange jam yeah. or something. But Like um, marmalade. <laughs> marmalade. Who would have who thunk <laughs> that I mean, it's, yeah. But it's still, it's still slapping you around a little oh, bit. Oh, I'm getting slapped in the face right now. I'm a little uncomfortable with how aggressive. <laughs> yeah. this I'm is. about to call this daddy here <laughs> real soon. I'm triggered. <laughs> this is definitely punchier than the last two or three or four Larceny barrel, you know, barrel proofs that have come out. Yeah, um, which which I know typically the general consensus is the A batches for both the Elijah Craig and the Larceny tend to get lower ratings. Okay. Um, 
but sea I batches. that might be because they're sweeter later in the year. Sea batches tend to get the highest ratings generally. And that might be just temperature wise, like a little more sweetness, but this is punchy in a fun way. Yeah, I don't I don't dislike it at all. Oh, we actually have the year before. The A? What do we have open? Oh. So I think I have the B. Um we got a bunch of them. But this is A one twenty two. This is a year before. Oh, that's funny. We're not that's unopened, it, huh? We're not opening it. We have so many we can open. It's true. <laughs> but I don't know. We gotta try and tackle the I don't other remember the A from barrel yeah. last year. So here here's my thoughts on it. I mean, if you're looking at this stuff already, you're gonna pick it up. I think that's that's decided, right? Like if you're interested in barrel proofs, if you're interested in Heaven Hill products, you're most likely gonna be already picking this up. It's it's never not worth yeah. picking up a larceny or Elijah Craig barrel strength. Now, is yeah. this the best larceny I've ever had? No. Is it fun? Is it punchy is it just like whoa what's going on here yeah is it for experienced drinkers who like high proof for sure yeah yeah this is this is for... i don't know who i would give this to other than you guys out of out of people that i know this is for I would, snobs i would have a hard time giving this to people who you know who are just well and normally the, the other thing whiskey. i would note is we just opened Agreed. it Agreed. i mean we just opened it we had yeah. not tasted it so you know, neck pour We're getting that one twenty five point eight proof. Yeah, it's it's definitely. Uh, but we are. I want to be clear, Heaven Hill fans. If you didn't know that, um, mm-hmm. and both these Elijah Craig and Larceny and Larceny use uh, now Larceny used to be the barrel proof a great value because it ran considerably cheaper bucks. than the Elijah Craig. Now it's it's eked up there. It's still cheaper than the Elijah Craig. It's sort of big brother. Um, but the Elijah Craig. What did we get this for? Uh, I want to say fifty some dollars to sixty dollars. Oh, that's not bad. Yeah, now that's not bad. If this is your entry into barrel proof, and you're like, oh, how do I get a cheap barrel proof without breaking the bank? This is it. It's, you're gonna get the proof, and that's that's the thing though is you're gonna get something that is well done, but you're gonna see why it is cheaper. Like, yeah, what, what but I would, I would still, bucks for I would proof? still probably do rare breed if you're introducing somebody to barrel proof. Barrel proof. Fair enough. Well, yeah. personally though, hot take here, rare breed gives me heartburn. I don't drink it. True. I love, I love the juice. I don't drink it though. I actually this, have a bottle. I never touch it. This is just really wild. Yeah, like, it's a really wild bottle. It, the larceny is. Yes. But yeah, but that's why I love larceny. Yeah, yeah. no, larceny I, I, is. A great, I don't. I it's a be, wild I wanna, child. It's wild. I want to be clear. I I don't dislike this a one twenty three large thing at all. It's just different than some yeah. of the others I've had. It punch. It slaps you around yeah. a bit. It's not unexpected. Yeah, yeah. It slaps you around. Now the Elijah Craig is twelve years as opposed to sixty eight years. It is. It is the oh. proof wise. We're we're down point two proof. So it is one hundred and twenty five point six for the a one twenty. You know. And then, I just can't handle that with the proof houndness in me, you know. And then, two. and then this it. is seventy eight percent corn. <laughs> the the Elijah Craig seventy eight percent corn, twelve percent uh, rye, as opposed to the Larceny's wheat, and ten percent malted barley. You know, man, it's 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 really interesting. Ooh. As someone who loves rye, I can, yeah, like I can smell. I can smell between rye the two. Larceny does not have any rye. Elijah Craig has twelve percent rye, like it's there, and it, I'm curious what it's I can do smell the palate. rye. I can smell the rye. Yeah, exactly. I I can smell that rye spice. There's spice. There's a little dill going on there, just a slight hint of dill, brown a sugar. Little, yeah, but I mean, there's rye. I'm hitting the floral rye. You know, I wonder is if you the more you age a mash bill with rye in it, will the rye come out more because of the yes. spice? Yes. 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 Yeah. yes. Rye does this. Yeah. Wheat, wheat does wheat drop off? No. Or it, it actually stands. Corn off. drops off. Corn drops off. Everything else yes. yeah, increases. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So even a little amount of 12% is going to be probably more pr- uh, profound when you actually have the product. It's so. more influential. Yeah. yeah. But I mean, we got yeah. 12 years, six to eight years. Yeah. Proof is almost exactly the same. Yeah. And you know what's weird? I feel like younger. 
And six to eight years for the larceny is not young as far as bourbon goes. But when it's weeded whiskey, younger, there's a burn to the wheat. Like you see it with Maker's Mark too. And it's the same kind of burn. It's almost like a it was stored too hot, kind of like a Texas whiskey yeah. where you get that Texas whiskey. And even if it's aged, it's like, why is there this burn to this? Yeah. Like it's just hotter. It's a hotter whiskey. And I think that like that's where it's the linear. It's like the wheat can't it needs to be aged more. Whereas rye, you can age a high rye or even a rye not that long and it has a great profile. With wheat, you need to put some years on it because it needs to round out and yeah. like have the flavor come through and then that burn, whatever is associated with that, drops off. And then the Elijah Craig does not have that at all. And it's just corn. And but that rye. and that is also why the Buffalo Trace allocated weeded bourbons are right. Well, that's why you can 15, have a Pappy Van fi- Winkle. Pappy yeah. Van Winkle 15. 20, 20 year. Yeah. Yeah. Because it's wheat, it's wheat, it's wheat. But it's weeded. a 20 year and they know how to age it. And it's like, oh, now the wheat is amazing. Like that's top shelf stuff. But not everything with weed is automatically above. Yeah. Well, I'm, I'm going to say for my palate right now, there's it's a no brainer. There's yeah. larceny, or excuse me, the the uh, Elijah Craig, hand hands down, hands down, not even not even close. We're talking. It's like a like you have some crazy experience with larceny. Well, now you have a muted because of the difference between them. But it's muted, but it's balanced. It's like. Mm. Oh, all that extremeness. Let me kind of like tune that down a little bit and let me give you like some other stuff. It's it's like it's almost intentionally as it's on your tongue making moves to kind of balance yeah. it. It seems very intentional. Yeah. I mean, toffee. There's all there's there's that rye spice coming through. Though I will say, uh, I mean, we've tried, I think, the entire 2022's Elijah Craig lineup. It's not better better than the C. It's not better than the oh, C no, or no, the no. B. No, I would agree. I would agree with that. But Ooh. right now, oh. tonight, I'm tasting these two, and it's all about. I, you know what tonight is? I mean, it's all about the back end, boys. <laughs> it's all about the badonka donk. The Elijah Craig, <laughs> the finish of this. Oh, chafed yeah. Guevara. Yeah, <laughs> the finish of the Elijah Craig is a weird mix of vanilla and black licorice. Yeah, I, I it would is a fennel, but yes, it is amazing. You know what? You can take your fennel and shove it. I'm going all the way black licorice. <laughs> Australian black licorice, okay? If you don't know Ooh, what's up, you need to figure I it out. I wouldn't I wouldn't disagree. I'm going to Yeah, no. To me fennel is a lighter note of the black licorice, but yeah. there is definitely some black licorice on the There's a lot of anise. Anise. Anise going on. Star there. Anise. anise. And talking about the back end, there's lots of anise on the back end. Guaranteed. A lot of anise in the back. Ah, oh, you know that's it's tasty. good. It it's like the opposite. It's actually the exact opposite. The mid palate is empty compared to the larceny. Larceny is just like I'm gonna attack you. Uh, you know, it's just, it's just a kind of like a flurry, cat scratch fever. Yeah, yeah. and then it mellows out. Mm, the new this has a has a a trough. <laughs> it's like you know if you're thinking about it, sine it, waves and things. Yeah, and, it troughs in the mid palate, and you're like you're kind of left. Bio with... rhythms down in the mid palate. <laughs> yeah, it kind of like dissipates, and then it just kind of like ooh, comes up, and you're like, ooh, that's really sweet. Oh, it, and nice. it definitely. Mm. It, yeah, the Elijah it, Craig is a sine wave, and the Larson is a saw, sawtooth. <laughs> it's a, no, it's an asymptote. The Elijah Craig <laughs> finishes the bout in the late. The donk donk. <laughs> the Elijah yeah. Craig finishes the bout in the late rounds. Yeah. Nothing like math jokes. <laughs> <laughs> Cosine. Gonna intersect that. That sounds bitch. like a, that, that sounds, sort of sounds like, like a, they're tangents from each other. That sounds like a signal on, <laughs> on your car or on your signaling. Yeah, something that people don't do here. Yeah. Signal when they're turning. Don't yes. talk to me about that. Yeah. I'm gonna get angry. <laughs> <laughs> I am a Elijah really Craig fan. Chafes his ass. He's, uh, he chafes call his me Guevara. Chafe Guevara. It chafes his Guevara. It chafes his ass. Hold, on, hold on. This is definitely more. Oh, oh sorry. Now you're this not, is now you're Irish. This is Chafe Guevara. Yeah, I am a poet from New York. 
Thank you. <laughs> a beat <laughs> poet. The, a beat me, poet. Def Larceny. Jam, Def Jam poet. Theft. Elijah Craig. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. I'll clap for myself. No, no, no. Snaps. Oh, oh sorry. Please slap. Some, some, <laughs> some jazz poems. <laughs> I see sunglasses, the round ones. Communism, yeah. ism, <laughs> organism, me, existence, communism. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Why is ism always in a prison? <laughs> <laughs> Ism isn't isn't a prism. It's all about the schism. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, tool reference. Let's bring in some, some Maynard, baby. <laughs> 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 wow. 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 Shut it down. <laughs> Shut right. it down. Yes. So wow. the Elijah Craig, all right. It's a step up. It is 12 year. It's 12 year. It's age longer. It Tones it down a little bit. Larceny, it's wild. It's young. It's like, woo, I got energy. Both are worth getting. Different price points. We haven't spoken about it. What is the price point of Elijah Craig? That's $70, $70, $75. So if you need somebody to babysit your kids, definitely Larceny. It's got more energy. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) But depends on the age. Those are our (laughs) respectable price points. So. Yes. Go pick them up. I mean, Heaven if, Hill. You're, if you're watching Heaven this, Hill. you're most likely a fan of Barrel Proof. If you're not a fan of Barrel Proof, maybe you should try it. Don't knock it till you try it. That's all I got to say. They hug each other. Exactly. If you see them, if you see either of them, it's worth getting them. Yeah. It really is. Speaking of seeing things, if you're watching this episode, you like, you hit that big old subscribe, thumbs up. Subscribe, people. Subscribe, Whoa, whoa, please. whoa. Give them a chance to hit the other button Smash and then the you button, subscribe then okay subscribe, right. then you goddamn subscribe to the goddamn podcast okay you gotta watch more content you gotta see it okay you also gotta comment because we don't know what you want us to do we've we've done so many things go look at our back catalog we've done a lot you want us to do something else let us know in too the comments bad. <laughs> too, too bad we only do the things that we've done previously we appreciate you watching have a good night